Hi, welcome to SQL Server 2008. In this video, we will be looking at how to insert the values into a table. In the previous uh, videos, we have created a database bookstore, which you can see here. And in bookstore, we have created two tables. One is uh, we have created two tables in the bookstore. Uh, this is bookstore. Here we have created tables author dim and the book dim. In the book dim, we have three columns BID, B name b page and in the author dim we have again six columns aid author name author age author location author book and author price band now in this we would be looking at how to insert the values into these tables so first i mean let us try to find out uh, we had table select star from book dim right let's see how much how many columns do we have let's pass it first and then execute okay we have three columns bid b name b page now in this i mean now we are going to insert the values now the standard format if in case we have to insert the values into a table how to do that now here what we are going to do is insert now what we write is into the table column name table underscore column name column name in that how we are entering it like here we have bid so here what we write is column underscore one column underscore one comma column underscore 2 comma column underscore 3 and so on so now let's try writing a normal standard statement insert into now the table name is book dim mm. here what we have is bid so the first column name is bid comma then we have b name you can see here all the labels are coming up already all the column names are coming up already so whatever and all in the sequence the way we want the values to be inserted we have to choose that so we choose this enter comma book page enter and then we write the values we say values enter now here book id is a integer type you can see here column book id is nothing but integer and null both it it accepts both so now since it is an integer so we have to give any integer value to it so i say that this is one comma book name here you can see that it is a nvar cat that means it will accept only the characteristics the uh, alphabets or anything that we can give now here book name let's say excel comma now book page again you can see here it is an integer so let's say what is the total number of the pages that is existing in this book so let's say i mean there are 180 pages in this book now one special thing what we have to find out here you can see here this is coming as an error the moment it will be showing as red color underline that means there is an error in the syntax now here also you can see there is a red color underline this is because this one is having an error now whenever you're writing any character that has to be under single or double quotes so i'm converting this into quotes automatically it will be converted into red color the moment it will convert into red color that means there is no error in that the moment i'm taking it off you can see here now let me see if there is an error here there is no error it says command completed successfully query executed success successfully let's try execute hit i'm sorry let's try hit execute so here the moment we hit on execute we find that there is one row affected so ideally now we will do select star from book dim let's try hitting execute here you can see the value is inserted one excel 180 these were the values which we wanted now here 
let me tell you one thing very frankly that whatever the values no matter what you give it will straight away take here it maps the data that the first whatever the data is there in the first column it will straight away go and sit into the first column so whenever you are entering the values you need to be very very careful because excel would not cross check the values it will straight away go and update it against the column name now let's assume that if in case we do a little changes in the values what will happen let's see um control v book time let's try hit first i mean prior to that let's do one thing we will insert one more value to here we say is c sharp and then we say it's uh, 36 pages let's try this compile and then hit execute one row factor and then let's try hitting the generic syntax for book dim here you can see the second value is also there 2 c sharp 36 right so that means i mean if in case you would like to enter the values it is simple insert into followed by the table name and after that you have to give column wise all the column names now here what i'm gonna do is let's do let's try testing it in a different way sql is actually a blind blind data database operating machine where it does not know anything of its own it does not allow its own brain what it does is it takes the brain of the executor now if i am writing this as here what i'm gonna do is this b name i'm gonna changing i'm removing this b name what i'm gonna do is here i'm gonna take this and here i'm gonna write three now if you actually look at here what i've done is i am not giving any book name and the third value you can see that here only i've taken two columns that is bid and the b page now let's see what happens if in case we are going to insert in this way compile it says okay hit on execute again it says one row affected let's see that what is the current number of rows in the let's hit on execute here you can see it has taken a value null now let me remind you null is not zero null is null but it is not equivalent to zero this is a very very important fact that you have to keep it in mind so here you can see that it has not taken this value but what it has done is it straight away it has taken the value 3 and 36 3 it has taken in against bid column and 36 it has taken against the b page right so here it is very very important that while updating the data you need to be very careful the cleansing of the data while doing a bulk insert it is very very important when you are doing any update into the table it is very important now in the upcoming versions we would be looking at a little more complicated stuff uh, where we will be looking at how to enter too much of data how to do joins and how to uh, see the data updations alterations into the table once updated and how to um, delete the data all these in the upcoming videos will be watching thank you for watching this video